with a heavy heart, I'm here to report that Hollywood icon Doris Day dead at 97. That's right, Doris Day is dead at 97. And this hits me a little hard because I grew up, kind of grew up with Doris Day. My parents were the same age. Um, she was born in 1922. My father was born in 19, early 1923. So I kind of grew up listening to Doris Day music. Here's the story. Doris Day, whose wholesome screen presence stood a time, stood for a time of innocence in, in the 1960s films, has died. Her foundation says she was 97, and she, I think she started out as a singer, and then went on to um, Hollywood fame and movies, and then television. But I think Sentimental Journey was her greatest, biggest hit, her greatest song, and I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. The Doris Day Animal Foundation confirmed today that she passed away at her Carmel Valley, California home. The foundation says in an uh, emailed statement, she was surrounded by close friends and had been in excellent physical health for her age until recently contracting a serious case of pneumonia. She was known as the honey voice singer and actress whose film dramas, musicals, and innocent sex comedies made her a top star in the 1950s and 60s, among the most popular screen actresses in history. Doris Day's voice, wholesome, blonde beauty, and ultra-bright smile brought her a string of hits, first on records, Later in Hollywood, like I was right, she uh, she was a star first in uh, singing, then moved on to Hollywood, and she just had a birthday on April 3rd, turned 97. She was actually born Doris Mary Ann Kappelhoff on April 3rd, 1922. So, of course, like a lot of Hollywood stars, they changed their names, and her name was really Kappelhoff. And she was born, let's see, she first began her career as a big band singer in 1939, before World War II. Her popularity increased with her first hit, Sentimental Journey, in 1945. After leaving Les Brown and his band of renown to embark on a solo career, she recorded more than 650 songs from 1947 to 1967, which made her one of the most popular and acclaimed singers of the 20th century. Her film career began in the later part of the classical Hollywood film era in 1948 with a film called Romance on the High Seas. Pretty sure I've seen that. And its success sparked her 20-year career as a motion picture actress. She starred in a series of successful films, including musicals, comedies, and dramas. She played the title role in Calamity Jane. I did see that. That was a good movie, Calamity Jane, 1953, and starred in Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock's The Man Who Knew Too Much with James Stewart. I've seen parts of that in 1956. Her most successful films were the bedroom comedies she made, co-starring Rock Hudson and James Garner. I've seen a couple of those, such as Pillow Talk. That's famous. Everyone's pretty much seen that or parts of that. Uh, 1959 and Move Over Darling, 1963, respectively. She also co-starred in films with such leading men as Clark Gable, Cary Grant, David Niven, and Rod Taylor. After her final film in 1968, she went on to star in the CBS sitcom the Doris Day Show, 1968 to 1973. So she did have her own TV show. I do remember that. Day was usually one of the top ten singers between 1951 and 1966. As an actress, she became the biggest female star in the 1960s and ranked sixth among box office performers by 2012. In 2011, she released her 29th studio album. Wow. My Heart, which became a UK top 10 album featuring new material. Among her awards, Doris Day received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and a Legend Award from the Society of Singers. 
1960, she was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress. And in 1989, was given the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement in Motion Pictures. In 2004, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George Bush and allowed and is followed in 2011 by the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Career Achievement Award. She was one of the last surviving stars of the golden age of Hollywood. Now, I believe Kirk Douglas is still alive. He's 101 or 102, so he's even older than Doris Day, and he is still alive. And uh, it looks like she was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1922. And now she's passed on. So she's on her sentimental journey back home, back to heaven right now. Here's some of the lyrics of her greatest song. Gonna take a sentimental journey. Gonna set my heart at ease. Gonna make a sentimental journey to renew old memories got my bag got my reservation spent each dime I could afford like a child in wild anticipation long to hear all long to hear that all aboard seven that's the time we leave at seven I'll be waiting up at heaven counting every mile of railroad track that takes me back never thought my heart could be so yearning why did I decide to roam? Gonna take that sentimental journey. Sentimental journey home. Welcome home, Doris Day. Welcome home to heaven. Goodbye, Doris. We will definitely miss you. Take care.